Hey everybody, Sean here, and manatees are often rescued in the winter months here in Florida for a variety of reasons, and we got the chance to go up to SeaWorld Orlando and check out some of the really cute orphan manatee calves, and of course some of the adults that had been brought in for a variety of reasons, um, mostly boat impacts. Uh, and so I wanted to share with you our experiences. These incredibly cute manatee calves are orphans. Without their mothers, they wouldn't survive but here, they get a second chance at life and the hope of one day being released back into the wild. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission keeps statistics on the number of rescued manatees in the state. In 2017 alone, there were 101 rescued manatees. Out of that number, 60 were able to be successfully released back into the wild, while 21 died. Throughout Florida, the manatee mortality for 2017 was 538 animals. So far, between January 1st and March 2nd of 2018, 32 manatees have been rescued in Florida. Out of that, 10 were due to watercraft collisions and 8 from entrapments in human structures. Six orphaned calves have also been rescued, some of which you see here. One of the leading causes of manatee stranding and mortality is boat collisions. Those of us who see manatees regularly in the wild often note that most have scars on their backs. Obviously, boat propellers can cause major wounds, but it's often the internal injuries that threaten manatees' lives. You can see some of the manatees in this pool are floating abnormally high in the water. This is typically caused when a lung is damaged and leaks air into the chest cavity. It can definitely take some time to treat some of these problems. When manatees are rescued, they're often malnourished and underweight. One way to get animals healthy again is to tube feed them. I'll let one of the SeaWorld staff explain. I like them too, so we have to supplement their diet with a lettuce roll. It is a blended up spinach, romaine lettuce, and a protein biscuit. Um, it gives them fat and calories. Um, supplement their diet basically. Uh -huh. like um, so what Jen is doing, she put a tube um, into her nose, yeah. goes into their stomach, so their anatomy excuse me, is like ours, where nose and mouth, one tube, that splits off stomach and lungs, um, so we can go either orally or nasally and to get to the stomach. What we need to make sure is that we don't go into the lungs. So while Jen was sitting here, she had the tube up to her ear, waiting for that animal to take a breath. Um, if we get a blast of air back in our face or in the lungs, that's not where we want to be. So um, we're also going to kind of check it, make sure we get resistance when we suck on the tube. Um, just to double check, make sure we're, we, we are where we need to be uh, to put fluids into their body. So making sure we're not putting it into their lungs. Um, so that's what we're doing. Is, um, any questions? I, I can't hear you. Time. No, we can bring them up if we need to do uh, medical procedures or anything like that. We can bring them up out of the water. These guys can stay out of the water indefinitely, um, but we do want to make sure we just kind of keep them moist, wet. Uh, so if they're going to be out for a long period of time, we have sprayers that we just keep them, keep them wet. All right, we're going to finish up here giving. Yeah. Um, <laughs> by a boat. Uh, she was sitting very low in the water. She wasn't coming up to, to breathe very easily. She was actually a little more vertical in the water. That's not how manatees are supposed to sit. Um, so, being that she's a little, she's very emaciated. Um, hit by a boat. Uh, juveniles that are still dependent, but no mom around. And uh, she was hit by a boat. Manatees are listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. The dedication of animal care staff and veterinarians from facilities like SeaWorld go a long way to helping support manatee populations here in Florida. If you're interested in manatees, check out some of my other videos on the Florida State Marine Mammal and the links I provided below. Until next time, keep exploring!